Hi, welcome you all to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, in this video, I would like to discuss about how we can get all the M functions in which are used in the Power Query into one place. Friends, as you all know, Power Query provides a powerful get data experience that encompasses many features. A core capability of Power Query is to filter and combine. That is to mash up data from one or more rich collection of data sources. Any such data mashup is expressed using Power Query formula language. Informally, we call it as a M language. As you all know, M language is functional and case sensitive. In Power Query, there are more than 700 M functions are available. In this video, we are going to discuss how you can get all the functions at one place and how you can analyze those functions based on the category. First is first, let me go to get data, other sources, otherwise you can launch the Power Query editor. It will open the Power Query editor window. As of now, no query is active. Let me right click, new query, other sources, I want to take a blank query. Let me rename this query name by going into the query properties. I can just select here. I can give M functions in Power Query. This is the formula bar where I can start writing the formulas. Equal to, you can use a keyword hash shared. It will show you in the red color. Don't worry. Once you click enter, you will get all the functions in the Power Query along with this query you will find here in the record format. I want to convert this record into the tech table. So what I can simply do, I can go into the convert tab and I can click into table so that all the Power Query functions you will be finding in the table format. Now, I don't want the same name M functions in the Power Query because it is nothing but the same query as it recognized all the queries. So I'll simply go down. I will just uncheck whatever the query name which I am looking now. It is nothing but M functions in the Power Query. Let me uncheck this. If you see, it has written another step with a function table dot selected rows. Now what I'll be doing, I'll directly click close and load so that I want to load all these functions into my Microsoft Excel. Now, if you observe, many are functions here, many may be just values and many may be tables. What I'll be doing, I'll put another tab here, the type. Wherever you will find the function, let me filter with the name called function. Wherever you find other than function, so doesn't contain function, I'll keep all these as enumerations. So enum, as you all know, enum is the list of values. Like in Microsoft Excel, when you have a function called weekday, I can just take any of the date. And if you observe, the next argument is having list of items. I can select whatever the item I am looking for. This is nothing but the enumerations we call. Now what I will be doing, these are the functions which are part of your Power Query, M functions we call. And I will select this table. I will go to the insert. I will click pivot table. Let me click OK. Before doing this, what I am going to do, I want to extract everything before this dot. For which what I am going to do? I want to put another item called category. Category is nothing but everything before the dot. As you all know, Power Query M functions having two parts. Before the dot, after the dot. Before the dot is basically the category of the function. For example, if you want to use any of the table functions, table dot. If you want to use any of the list functions, you'll find list dot. If you want to use any record functions, record dot, date dot, and so on. 
if I want to use any functions with respect to Microsoft Excel, Excel dot. So what I want is I want everything before the dot. This transformation either you can do in the Power Query editor itself or even you can do in Microsoft Excel. I can use a simple function called left. I can just select this text. What I want is find wherever a dot is there within this text minus one so that I can extract till the dot every value. Wonderful. Now I will select this table. I'll go to insert, click pivot table, click OK because I want to analyze how many functions are there and what type of category of the functions are available and so on. Before anything, let me take the type into the filter. Let me select only the functions because I'm only looking for the functions, but not the enum or the list of values in the enum. Now let's go here, take the category of the functions in the rows. I want to know how many items are there in the each category. Let me right click and I want to sort this data from large to the smallest. If you observe, there are 647 functions are there. You know, table transformation related 110 functions are available. Obviously, Power Query is the ETL engine where you can do the transformation. Most of the time, we do the transformation with respect to the tables. Then many a times we do the transformation with respect to the list of items. List is nothing but one column of a table. And you have 57 date related functions in the Power Query. In Microsoft Excel also you have so many formulas, right? If you go into the date and time, you may be maximum having 20 or 25 functions. But in the Power Query for date related 57, if you look into even time related, I'm sure date and time another 25, just time related also you do have the function. Duration related 12, time related 9. Total 103 different transformations you can do with respect to just date, time, duration and so on. You can see how many different ways you can do the transformation. Just wanted to analyze what is there in the date category of the functions. Let me double click this so that you can see what type of functions are there. With respect to the date, week of year, you can ask week of year, what is the week of month, quarter of year, you can ask days in a particular month, what you are referring, day of year, day of week. Like this, you can see many functions are there. These functions you can use in the Power Query to transform your data. As you all know, in two ways you can do the transformation in the Power Query. One is by using the graphical interface, which is there in the ribbon menu. But majority of the things, if you want to do the complex transformation, the command, the buttons may not be available in the ribbon menu. In those cases, you may need to go and start writing the M formulas. In those cases, this list of all the functions may be very handy for you. That's all in this video, friends. Maybe in the next video, I'll come up with a, another interesting topic with the Power Query. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.